The Buffalo School Board is meeting right now at the Buffalo Academy for Visual and Performing Arts on Maston Avenue. We had planned to show you a live picture, but there's still an executive session. One of the issues being taken up behind closed doors is a new teacher contract. That item is not on the agenda for the public portion of tonight's meeting, but maybe we'll learn something. Two on your side's Andy Payton spoke with the president of the teachers union about the tensions between the two sides over the past few years. For the past four years, this is what it's looked like to be a Buffalo public school teacher. Protest, pickets, walkouts, demanding the district hear their pleas for a fair contract. They're mad. I mean, I myself work three jobs and I have a master's degree just to make ends meet. I know several teachers that I work with as well are working second and third jobs. Michelle Hall feels she's found her calling in the classroom. But with a five-year-old at home, a lack of a new contract is forcing her to make some tough decisions. You have to give and take. And it's like, well, what do I choose? Do I choose money or do I choose my family? Riverside's Mark Bruno. There is severe frustration amongst the membership right now. And international preps Patrick Foster. The contract's being so outdated over the years, that's been very troubling. Whose names will be on the ballot in next month's Buffalo Teachers Federation election have seen the same struggles throughout their combined 44 years in the classroom forcing many of their colleagues to leave for other districts in the region that seem to get new contracts and raises every few years. We are light years behind pretty much every district in this area with our pay and we're working with some of the most challenge in some of the most challenging environments that you can imagine in education. Last month, even the school board hit its breaking point. We're not going to sit here and continue to play this game. After a neutral third party fact finder sided with the district on a contract that would provide teachers with a 21% raise over the next three and a half years and a 10% signing bonus that would take the district's average salary for a teacher from $72,000 to $91,216, 40% higher than the average public school teacher salary. However, the proposal would eliminate the Federation's retiree health insurance starting January 1st, 2026. But the district says this would not affect any current teachers. This is the best and final offer the, the board has offered, and we want our teachers to get paid. And I don't think there's anyone in western New York that does not feel that this is a decent offer. For years, the Buffalo Teachers Federation has put the district in the public spotlight, blaming the school system for reasons on why a deal hasn't been reached. But now some within the union are starting to believe it's its president that's been the problem. You want to talk to Phil? He makes time for you. I will give him that. But when it comes to making moves and negotiations and getting deals sealed, no, he's not the guy. We sat down for an exclusive interview with Phil Ramore, and I pressed him on why after four years, there's still no deal. Teachers are, have come to me saying that they've seen teachers in their own buildings leave for other districts because this contract just hasn't been reached. Is that not reason enough to just go ahead and take this offer? Nothing is in settled until everything is settled. He can be up there saying this is what we got, but he doesn't mention what they're trying to take away, mm -hmm. you know, from, from the teachers. It isn't because of this contract hasn't been done. They're leaving here because their salaries in other school districts are much higher. The district's most recent proposal would give Buffalo public school teachers the second most competitive starting salary in the region. Documents obtained from BPS show that in the last 24 years of Phil Moore's 42 year tenure, he has successfully negotiated just one contract with many union members questioning his leadership due to a lack of transparency in his decades removed from the classroom. Is there any belief on your end that you may not be the right person to negotiate this deal anymore? Well, we'll see what the teachers think about when it's negotiated. Well, we have tried to be as transparent as we can. We're in better shape now than if we would have settled after a year. With 2023's Buffalo Teachers Federation election looming, some also question the negotiating timeline. You've said that you feel you're at the best point that you could be, and now you're up for re-election in a few weeks. Do you not find the timing of all this to be convenient? No, not at all. If anything, uh, it's the length of time is that's taking this more time. It's actually working against te teachers who are angry that, uh, that they don't have a contract. And I'm not going to recommend or, or agree to anything to present to teachers that I don't think is worthy of them. But is Phil Ramore worthy of remaining union president? His members will ultimately decide. Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.
Andy, thank you. An additional negotiating session took place yesterday. We're told a new teacher contract could be finalized as soon as this Friday with a possible ratification meeting on Monday. Still a lot could change, though. We'll keep you posted as we learn more.